Okay, it's time to deploy our little smart contract and decentralized application to the Ethereum mainnet. The first thing I want to do is kind of detect whether MetaMask is connected on the front end to Gorelli Testnet or the Ethereum mainnet and then switch the contract address between the two because I want people to be able to use this with Testnet if they just want to try it out. But also if they want to actually donate funds, they want to, I want them to be able to use it with mainnet as well. So to do that, we're going to add a little bit of code. Um, if we go to app.js, And in connect, I'm gonna get the network data and network data for mainnet, I'm pretty sure is one. I'm just gonna go chain list just to double check. Yeah, it's chain ID one. Let network name equals unknown. Name equals mainnet. So the chain ID for Gorelli is number five, and I can detect that as well. to mainnet. So we figured out if we're to connect into the Gorelli testnet or the Ethereum mainnet now. And what I want to do is I want to deploy the contract now to the Ethereum mainnet. So we got the deploy Gorelli um, script, which we used in the last example. And the only thing that's really going to change here is the LIDO address. The charity address is going to stay the same. That's the same for uh, the charity give well. The LIDO address is gonna be slightly different. Let's go into our deployed contracts and go to mainnet. And this is the one we want. So let's paste that in there and then save this as mean that everything else should be the same. Next thing I want to do is make sure I've got some Ethereum in my wallet. I've got some right here. So I've got 0 0.0898, $122. Fortunately, deployment fees are pretty cheap right now. Gas is cheap. So let's bring this back. We've got the deploy mainnet file. The address, LIDO address is updated. All of this is fine. The charity address is the same. And the final thing we do before we deploy this is going to hard hat and we need to create a mainnet file. So mainnet network and is it, I think it's Homestead. Let's just double check. No, if mainnet. Okay, so for mainnet, we want if mainnet to alchemy.api.io, alchemy API key. Oh, well, that looks fine. So let's come out of this. And what we want to do is deploy mainnet, change the network to mainnet as well. Let's see if that deploys. Brilliant, We've got a contract address. 0xf08. It's useful because it's the same address as the Gorelli because I haven't done any transactions on both of their networks. So 
the contract address on mainnet and contract address on Gorelli is the same address. It's um, calculated the same way. And in F6A, let's double check that. Yep, that's fine. So I can now go ahead and verify that contract on mainnet. Contract address will be the same. The only thing that will change is the Lido address, which will be this one. So you have to change these constructor arguments when we're verifying the contract with Etherscan. Successfully verified. Let's just double check. And we've got the contract on mainnet Ethereum. And that cost just under $10 to deploy that contract, which by all standards is pretty cheap for the Ethereum mainnet. <clears throat> Let's connect our wallet. Connected to mainnet. Haven't got any funds in there yet. Let's see if switching between mainnet and the Gorelli test net works. Yeah, so we've got some funds in Gorelli. And the final thing I want to do is to get this vault started is to send across some real funds. So let's deposit some ETH. Got 108.28. So let's deposit about $100 into this vault. Oh, I don't have enough to pay the transaction fee. Okay, let's do 0.07. There we go, put $97 in, £2.71 transaction fee. We should leave, leave us enough to use the withdraw function in a year's time. Let's confirm that transaction. Wait for that to go through. Bing. And there we go. We have a real live contract living on the Ethereum mainnet using real programmable money and we created this perpetual vault which will continuously donate money to charity. We've got the collateral within the contract and that's in the staking reward of roughly 5% a year um, and it's all in Ethereum so if the price of Ethereum goes up that might become quite a substantial amount one day. Um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial then feel free to have a play around with this URL at jameswachini.github.io forward slash give forever capital G capital F and you can either use it with Gorelli Testnet if you just want to play around you can get some funds by googling Gorelli Testnet Forset or you can make a donation on the Ethereum mainnet. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you a good oversight and some more in-depth knowledge about how Web3 development works and how the complete kind of full stack development environment can come together to create an interesting application. If you're interested in learning more about blockchain development and decentralized finance, then check out my blog at jamesgenie.com. Thank you for watching.